have 66 feet of 8 ply mohair and I'm going to begin to string the buckles. So I'm going to go over the buckle and I want this end piece here, I want to leave 18 inches hanging to the back. What this is going to be reserved for is when we do our cross weave, this is the cord that will run back and forth in between your cross weaves. So that's about 18 inches. And then I'm going to take it and I'm going to clamp it with my hemostat so that it holds it in position. And then I'm going to come down to the buckle here and I'm going to run my end. I'm going to go in the front and come up. And you have a lot of cord here. And you, you can't really tamale it up because it won't fit through your buckle. So you just have to bear and, and do it this way. And once you get halfway through the buckle, then it'll be easier. So this is on page 67 of the How to Braid book. This is figures one and two. And you're going to, and when you're finished, you're going to have an uneven number because it's a 27 strand. So you're going to have 14 cords laying on the top, and you're going to have 13 that end up in the back. And that's pointed out in the How to Braid book. So I brought that through. Here's my end. And then I'm going to bring this back through. And I'm going to continue in this manner until the whole buckle is strong. Now when you're doing this, you want to make certain that your cords don't start to cross over each other. So um, as you get towards the end, because they'll tend to want to do that. And I don't want to pull it so tight that the buckle starts to go lopsided. You want to pull it just enough that it's going to maintain. So I'm going to stick this in through here. Get it out of the way. Okay, so there's my end. And so now come up and I'm going to go down. Keep going around and around until I am finished. When I finish, I will end up down here. So you'll have one end up at the top, and you'll have one at the bottom. You'll have 14 cords on the front and 13 cords on the back. 